In 1921, 100 years ago, the doors to the current sanctuary here at Trinity Lutheran Church opened for the first time. For 100 years, the Trinity congregation has passed through these red doors to worship, to sing, to pray, to grieve, to honor God, to celebrate our identity as God's beloved children. This beautiful structure means little without a congregation to bring it alive. And our congregation is a strong, vibrant community of faith that strives to love, honor, affirm, and celebrate all people. We recognize our many blessings and seek to extend blessing to others, especially the weak, struggling, and vulnerable in our community. When you ask someone what Trinity is, there will be many answers, and they are all correct, because Trinity means something different to everyone. Trinity is so many things. Trinity is love. Trinity is comfort. Trinity is hospitality and welcome. Trinity is worship. Trinity is where worship is the center and focus of community life. As often as I can, I want to be in worship at Trinity. I am always strengthened, sustained, blessed, and lifted up by our worship life together. Trinity is joy. I find joy and meaning in worship, especially in the music, the sounds of Bach, and the voices of my siblings in the faith floating down from the balcony, lift my spirits and bring me comfort, peace and joy, so much joy. Trinity is authenticity. Trinity is a place where you can be authentic and vulnerable. Our pastors are real people with real lives, with real challenges who proclaim the gospel in authentic ways that invite, include, and affirm the worth and value of every human being. Trinity is caring. Trinity is where safety, care, and protection of others is a priority. In the environment of COVID, I am proud that my church has been careful and cautious and taking great efforts to keep our community healthy, well, and safe. Trinity is being loved. Trinity is where spaces of belonging and connection are being lovingly created. As members of the queer community, Patrick and I have been embraced, loved, valued, and honored. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt that we belong in this place. We know that we are loved. Trinity is radical hospitality. Some congregations claim that all are welcome. Trinity lives and breathes and practices the truth of the gospel that there is a place for everyone, no exceptions. As a youth, my opinions, thoughts, worries, and burdens are valued in this community. Trinity is outreach. Trinity is where reaching out in love to our neighborhood is a huge priority. Seeing the humanity in all humanity is very important to us. We love our church and we love being able to reach out to a hurting world with, with acts of kindness and, and deeds of love. Trinity is connection. It's a place where online worshipers feel like they can connect uh, the, to the church family as well. I don't live in Greenville, but I'm about to tune in online in just a moment. Uh, in the few times that I have made my way up to Greenville, I have attended in person. I felt very connected to the church family. Trinity is belonging. Trinity is where new people, new ideas, new ways of seeing things, new way of doing ministry together are celebrated and lifted up. Before Linda and I ever joined Trinity, we were invited and welcomed to participate in outreach activities. We belonged before we officially belonged. Trinity is ever evolving. Trinity is where we practice what we preach. When our council made the decision to welcome a member of the LGBTQIA community as our next pastoral intern, we knew that this was a faithful and authentic way for us to continue to live out the truth of Jesus' gospel of love 
and inclusion. Trinity is a beacon of light shining God's love into the world. But most of all, Trinity is all of us. Hi, welcome to the Trinity Stewardship Campaign for 2022. The next year is a very exciting time for Trinity. As a Reconciling in Christ Church, we are starting to gain recognition in the community as a leader in recognizing that God's love is meant for all, with no exceptions. We plan to continue that momentum and hope that 2022 brings opportunity to get back to our normal worship life at Trinity, as well as the programs for the congregation and community that make our church a real community of loving people. You will be receiving your time and talent sheets as well as pledge cards over the next week in the mail. And we ask that you spend some time prayerfully considering how you can pledge your time, talent, and treasure to support the ministry that we do at Trinity. The role of the Stewardship Committee is to work with all of the standing committees to build the annual budget for our congregation. Besides the Stewardship Committee, there are five other standing committees that are committed to serving and ministering the Trinity congregation, as well as the community. We felt it would be good to take just a few minutes to hear from a representative from each committee about the many important activities each committee undertakes and the time, talent, and financial resources necessary to accomplish their goals. The heartbeat of our life together at Trinity is worship. Worship is the foundation of our discipleship, the cornerstone of our lives, the compass that gives us direction and guidance. Worship gives meaning to my daily life, strengthens me for the challenges that come each day, comforts and sustains me in times of deep sorrow and pain, blesses and encourages me for a life of service in the world, to the world, and for the world. In worship, we praise God, give thanks to God, offer our gifts to God. In worship, whether online or in person, we confess our sins, those things that hurt God, that hurt one another, and we receive forgiveness. God wipes clean the slate of our wrongdoings. We are made new. Through baptism, we are named and claimed as God's beloved precious, baptized children. In communion, we are fed and nourished by the body and the blood of Christ. The sacraments hold us together. In worship, God shapes us, forms us, transforms us into the people God intends us to be. Worship is a place of belonging, a brave, safe space for all the beloved of God. Worship is a place of grace, a place to receive grace, to give grace, grace upon grace. Worship heals us from the inside out so that we can heal the world. We grow into our identity as God's beloved, precious, baptized children by learning, reading, studying, by participating in educational opportunities at Trinity. These things include Sunday morning learning events, Vacation Bible School, Grace Place, First Faith, Confirmation events, book discussions, and social justice events. The centerpiece of Christian education at Trinity is the desire to teach children, youth, and adults to accept and embrace the truth of our Lutheran faith, that we are saved, not through good works, but by the grace of God. Being formed into disciples for Christ is a lifelong process. It is never finished. We are never done. We continue to commit time, effort, and energy to our growth in the faith. At the heart of education at Trinity is the desire for every person to know that they are deeply loved and held by God. The Trinity Outreach Committee supports over 30 ministries that serve our church, the community, and even around the world. Outreach is one of the most important ways we can put God's love to work. 
the Nourishing Neighbors Ministry, Trinity's, Trinity's Ministry to, with, and for 150 of our next door neighbors is transforming lives, both the lives of those serving and those being served, providing pantry staples, bagged lunches, and fresh produce once a month in helping our congregation to create new, meaningful, and fulfilling relationships with our neighbors. This ministry was previously funded by a grant, but now our church will have to assume the full cost in 2022. Backpack Buddies alleviates childhood hunger by providing non-perishable, nutritious weekend food to at-risk students in the school system. In 2019, during 34 weeks, Trinity delivered over 6,300 bags of food to children in Greenville County. Through the Interfaith Hospitality Network, Trinity hosts families several times a year for one week of emergency shelter, along with a network of other churches. We provide a soft place for them to land, providing food, shelter, hospitality, love, and grace as they navigate the community resources to find more permanent housing. Beyond the cost, this takes a large core of Trinity volunteers to meet this responsibility but the reward of providing this service is immeasurable. Trinity partners with 16 other churches and Habitat for Humanity's Faith Build to construct one new home a year for a qualified family. As we raise these walls, we are also tearing down walls of poverty, inequity, and injustice. Trinity's involvement in Habitat Faith Build is much more than just about building new houses. It is about giving families options and opportunities with safe, affordable places to call home. No construction experience is required to participate in this amazing ministry. These and over two dozen other outreach ministries allow Trinity to spread God's love in the community. The needs are ever increasing, the resources needed are great, but we know that the Trinity congregation has always stepped up to make a difference in the lives of others. Parish life at Trinity is all about making connections. Parish life is about creating meaningful, fulfilling relationships among the members of our faith community. Parish life is about hospitality and welcome. It's about building relationships within our family of faith. Parish life events help our Trinity family to support and care for one another. Parish life is about food, parties, celebrations. Parish life is about feeding people, about feeding hearts and souls, about nurture and fellowship, about community gathered around a table or a campfire or a grieving family or a new married couple. Parish life strengthens our life together, helps us to be family to one another, enables us to love and serve and care for and encourage and empower and bless one another. Parish life breathes light and love into the life we share together at Trinity. The Property Committee's purpose is to provide a building and grounds that are a safe, comfortable, and beautiful place to worship, learn, fellowship, and serve. Our facility serves as an important part of the many life events of those in our congregation, including baptisms, confirmations, marriages, and funerals. One of the many blessings of Trinity is our beautiful, historic sanctuary and campus located on Main Street, Greenville. Our sanctuary is 100 years old this year. We have several additions of all ages, sizes, elevations, and makeup, each with unique structure, windows, roofs, gutters, and plumbing. In fact, the resulting HVA system requires tender, loving care. The property committee is also responsible for the flowers, shrubs, and lawns. We want Trinity to have a lovely curb appeal, one that is welcoming and inviting to the community and attractive to new members. Think of those places on Trinity that are beautiful or meaningful to you. The red doors, the stained glass windows, the columbarium, the music room, even the kitchen. 
They are all important to the Trinity family and the property committee appreciate your support to keep our facilities in great shape for generations to come. It is amazing when you get to hear of everything it takes for Trinity to provide a spiritual home for our congregation, as well as delivering the needs for the community. But as you know, that all takes both time and financial resources. This is where our stewardship campaign is so important. And here in the next week, we ask you to focus on what you can do, both from a financial and time commitment to keep our beautiful church and congregation a vibrant and growing community. Our practice, in order to be fiscally responsible, has been to recommend a budget that is based on actual pledges. This requires us to sometimes make hard choices to focus on the areas that match up with the mission of our church and where we hope to be in the future. Just as a reminder, our budget for the 2021 year was $1,044,000, and we have some new financial needs for 2022. Such items include costs associated with supporting a new vicar during the coming year, and the ever-changing costs related to the need to be fluid and flexible as we continue to adapt to tap challenges presented from the pandemic. For these reasons, it is important to really think what you can contribute so that we can continue to fund all the important programs and ministries at Trinity over the next year. As I mentioned, you will be receiving your time and talent sheets and pledge cards by mail over the next week. If you don't receive it, please contact the church office. Loyalty Sunday is next Sunday, September 26. We ask you to bring your commitments to worship on that Sunday or at a special Loyalty Sunday drive through from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. on the 26th. Thank you in advance for taking time next week to pray and reflect on how much Trinity means to all of us and commit to support all of our important ministries at Trinity. Trinity is worship. Trinity is joy. Trinity is authenticity. Trinity is caring. Trinity is being loved. Trinity is radical hospitality. Trinity is outreach. Trinity is connection. Trinity is belonging. Trinity is ever evolving. Trinity is a beacon of light shining God's love into the world. But most of all, Trinity is all of us.